This is Nenea's Family Market from American Girl, and it retails for $250. First, we're going to take a closer look at the store. The store is a wooden structure with the window frame being plastic pieces, and it does close up into a box much like the hotel, the seaside diner, and a few other pieces American Girl has released. So it opens up so you have a full back wall, and then it closes up so it can be stored when not in use. It's really not that large of a piece. So the market sign and this window frame are the plastic pieces that are on the actual structure and then everything else is wood. And then once we turn it around, you have to insert these shelves. They don't come already in place so they don't get damaged during shipping. All you have to do is slide them into place and they do click. So there are two that you have to put into place and they're very easy to put in. And then down here at the bottom, there is a full size drawer that comes all the way out and it fits most of the market items. So you can fill this up with goodies and then store everything easily. The only thing that's not gonna fit in here is gonna be the counter, but everything else is gonna fit either in this drawer or on the shelves when you fold it up to put away. Here is the counter that comes with this set and this piece is plastic. And the plastic is molded to look like it's a woven material in the front. There are two spots and I think that's just from manufacturing. And then the top is molded to look like wood. So it's supposed to look like a wooden countertop, but it is still all plastic. And then you turn it around and you have four cubbies on the back. So two large ones on the left, two smaller ones on the right. So you can put some things behind the counter. Like most American Girl sets, you do get a full sheet of stickers. These look mostly like posters and signs. Oh, that's not sticking. Right here you have a list of the weekly specials. So eggs, butter, flour, spam, all those goodies. Oh, and then you have a poster. So yeah, you can put that wherever you want on the store. I'm gonna leave those off for now. And then this is the box of goodies that it comes with. So all the stuff that goes in the market, everything is wrapped in plastic. So let's get that out. And the first item is this cash register. It says American Girl right here on the drawer. And it is adorable. It's supposed to be a 1940 style cash register. It has a lot of detail in it. It is a little plastic piece, but it is so cute. All the bottom row buttons work at the same time, so you press it and the drawer pops out. And then the top row also works at the same time and that just pops up the price. So $1.10 is what your doll will owe every time she goes shopping. <laughs> and that's just a really cool piece, I love it. And of course you have to have money to go in it, so I think you get 15 pieces of the pretend money, so $15. And this is a postcard rack. It has one, two, three, four, five slots on each side. So you could do 10 different postcards on that. And it actually does rotate, so you can spin it around. It's a little tricky, but it does work. We'll set that on the counter. And these are the price card holders. So you can put the little price cards in here. They just slip right in. And here are the price cards. And you just get a variety of prices. And they're all in cents, so 31 cents, 15 cents. Some of them say each on there, so two cents each. I wonder what's two cents, maybe the postcards? We'll put that beside the rack for now. So you can change out the prices, which is fun, and of course you gotta put the money in the cash register and it does fit, and you have two little slots for the money. Here are the postcards. On the postcards you do get a front and a back, so they do look like real postcards and you get one, two, three of each set. And you have five sets. They're a little tricky to put in the holder. You have to make sure you put them straight in so they're not slanted and hanging out. So we'll put those in there. So tiny. Here are some little surfer dudes and three of those again. So if you just put each set together, 
they fill up one side of the postcard rack. So if you want the back to be filled, you'll have to make some of your own or you'll have to split these up so you can have few of the same ones on the front and on the back. This is a plastic produce crate and it does say pineapple on there and it has the pineapples painted on each side. And this can easily be crafted so you can have a few different ones. But since this one says pineapple, I'm going to put the pineapples in it. It comes with three pineapples. These are the same pineapples from other sets. And we're gonna put these for 45 cents each. You get two bags of rice. These are so cute. Look at this, 25 pound bags of rice. I love these. I don't love the long pesky tags on them, but those will just have to be cut off but I love the rice bags. <laughs> oh, and some of my favorite things from this set are these three bolts of fabric. They're so adorable. I just love the miniature fabric bolts. And the prints on these are so beautiful. Look at that. I love it. And that they're sold in the market. It's very cute. Now, as I unwrap this, it does have a pretty good amount of fabric on here. It's not just wrapped around one time. It's wrapped around several times. And right at the end, it's stuck together and it looks like it's just like a, a heat and bond or something keeping it together so you can actually pull it apart. So if you wanted to use this fabric to make something for your dolls, you totally could. And you could keep a little bit on the bolt so it still looks like it has fabric for sale. Maybe you make a cute little purse or something. I love these. But yeah, we might have to make something with the extra fabric on these rolls. Now we are in Hawaii, so here are the three lays that come with the market. You get the orange, a pink, and a yellow. And it's just perfect for Nenea's market. We'll stick those on the shelf by the fabrics. You have a pair of souvenir shoes. These are little plastic shoes. And the wedges are carved. It looks like flowers are carved into these shoes. So these are cute and they do fit your doll's feet. So we'll put those on the shelf also. And you get a pair of black shoes. These are slippers and they're just like Nenea's brown shoes, but they're black. Here you have the two plastic shoe stands. So you can put the shoes on these stands, but really you can put whatever you want on them. So if you wanna display something else like these newspapers, you can. You have three newspapers. They do have a complete front and back and they actually have the news from Nenea's time period, which is really cool. I love these little things. And like I said, you can put anything you want on the shoe holders. So I'm gonna put these newspapers on there for now and maybe something else later. You get three cans of Hawaiian sliced pineapple and these cans are pretty large. Look, the top's very detailed. I love how it looks like a real can. We love pineapple, so we need more of these. You also get five cans of these Hawaiian macadamia nuts. And we love these too. And I think I have a craft coming up with doll macadamia nuts, so stay tuned for that. And you also get six cans of Spam. These look just like the ones we just crafted. So your store can be full of spam, which was very popular during Nanea's time period. This is a cluster of dragon fruit, is what it says on the list. And here's another cluster of dragon fruit, and I actually don't know what this is, and I've never tried it. But this is a bunch of mangoes, so I do know what these are. We'll put all those fruits together. And this is a souvenir plate, and it comes with a plate stand. Here's a closer look, and it's so cute. I think we need more of these souvenir plates too. And it fits on the stand perfectly, and we'll just sit it right here on the shelf. Oop. There we go. This is a coconut purse. And when I was in Hawaii, I saw a lot of these and they all look different. And some of them were done by children. It was really cool to see these in the market. So it has a string across the top. The top comes off. It's a carved out coconut. 
and it has two handles on the side and then around the nose on the front there is another cord that you can take off. There we go. See that? And if you put the top on, if you snap it on, you can actually hold it up like that. So you can hang it in your market. This is your sorry we're closed sign or come on in, we're open sign. It is reversible. And it doesn't hang, it just sits on the counter or you can put it in the window. See? And it turns inside out for a new sign. And a market needs bags, so it comes with three brown paper bags with the market's name on there. Very cute, I think we'll need to make additional bags also. And we'll open those up and set them out. And that is everything that is included in Nanea's family market set. Give this video a thumbs up if you think your dolls would enjoy playing with this market. And leave us a comment below telling us what we should craft from this set.